This Kendrick Lamar diss track came so fast. Everyone will notice Kendrick Lamar's bold move once you hear this. And the crazy thing is, he's not just throwing shade. He's laying down a map that could redefine celebrity feuds. Stick around till the end to catch all the explosive details and what this means for the music industry. Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, where we dive deep into the latest and greatest in music and entertainment. Today, we're breaking down Kendrick Lamar's fourth surprise diss track titled Not Like Us, a scathing takedown of Drake that dropped last night. If you thought the rap battles of the past were intense, you haven't seen anything yet. Kendrick's new track, produced by DJ Mustard, isn't just a song. It's a full-blown declaration of lyrical war. With a catchy beat and relentless verses, Kendrick calls out Drake and his crew, alleging serious offenses and questioning Drake's integrity and authenticity in the rap game. The song starts with Kendrick outright calling Drake a certified pedophile, a heavy accusation that sets the tone for the rest of the track. The lyrics are sharp and cutting, with Kendrick using clever wordplay and hard-hitting bars to make his point. He mentions several of Drake's close associates in the industry, suggesting that their support makes them complicit. He even goes so far as to question the loyalty and truthfulness of Drake's collaborations, particularly with artists from Atlanta like Future, 21 Savage, and Lil Baby, calling Drake a colonizer of the Atlanta rap scene. But Kendrick doesn't stop there. He also brings in visual aids to his lyrical assault. In a bold move, he used a map of Drake's Toronto mansion and marked it with numerous sex offender icons during the track's release party. This not only serves as a metaphorical invasion of Drake's personal and professional life, but also as a stark, unforgettable image that fans and critics will not soon forget. As the track plays out, the accusations become more intense and personal. Kendrick's final verse is a powerhouse, summarizing his view of Drake as someone who uses others for his gain, without genuine ties or loyalty to the community he profits from. The song ends on a note that leaves the audience reeling, wondering what the fallout will be and how or if Drake will respond. Kendrick's strategic release of Not Like Us during a nightclub set by DJ Mustard, followed by its play at Rick Ross's pool party. I'm at the pool party. BBL Drizzy, I'm at the pool party. And they just called you a pit. You a chum up? They backed it up at the party. Come on, black boy. Ensures that the track explodes across the social and musical landscapes. The timing and method of release are as calculated as the lyrics themselves, designed to maximize exposure and impact. This isn't just a song. It's a chess move in a much larger game between two titans of the industry. And with Kendrick hinting at more tracks in the arsenal ready to be deployed, this feud seems far from over. As we wrap up this deep dive into Not Like Us, it's clear that the implications of this track will ripple outwards, affecting fans, fellow artists, and perhaps the entire music industry. How will Drake respond? What will this mean for future collaborations? Only time will tell, but one thing is for certain. The world of rap will be watching closely. If you enjoyed this breakdown and don't wanna miss any updates on this ongoing feud or other exclusive content from the world of music, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Like this video, leave your thoughts in the comments below, and turn on post notifications so you never miss out. Thanks for watching.